Sony ponies gaslight and clap like a seal up late past midnight debating a psych deal. It's just two minutes, cheeks plapped on satisfactory appeal to triviality but alter retroactively. Email address, photo ID, and a cell phone microphone access for Sony's a stepping stone. High price device in your house but you already paid, they lied so cry in your blouse cause you got played. Take a step back and notice issues a myriad. Stake heart attack on this expired grace period. Gay, spread your butt cheeks, open up wide maybe 150k backlash is a downside get fisted hell divers delisted your ass goodbye i hope that you kissed it fight for democracy regardless of our airhead new for six months tastes kind of sour arrowhead when it's time to manage the community hide post talk shit name change run away call me sushima i'm a ghost before the sucker punch kyle caught bully sony trying to steal your pack lunch Hello, beta testers. Great. PC players' actions commanded a response from Sony. Like, subscribe, comment, correct, or cup size below. But Sony responds that they stand down. And I was ready to play by the rules and step outside my shadow band for just a small amount of time. But it's not even necessary anymore. Even at a fraction of their power, PC players forced Sony to back down the way Sony likes to effortlessly force the console players to accept whatever they give. They said it right in their tweet. We are still learning what is best for PC players. As in, they are learning what PC players will tolerate. And this is not it. The collar poppers that frequently refer to themselves as the PC master race were too fresh and too clean to dirty themselves or laugh themselves hoarse at the idea of a necessary PSN account or the notion that they might inevitably be made to pay to play online to what? Have Sony hacked again to end up forfeiting all the data they're collecting to the highest or even lowest bidder? If only the console players could be so organized, there would be a Stellar Blade response by now. But instead, Mark Kern or Grooms, the guy behind the 80,000 signature having anti-censorship campaign to free Stellar Blade, is so hated specifically in the official discord of Helldivers that they've put his name on a no-no list and a senior moderator is accusing him of sexually assaulting many people at a place he worked. Damn. And when someone said that that was slander, the person responds, slander implies it's a lie. You know, it used to be just Kyle making these kinds of collages to quickly illustrate how racist, straight-hating, or insufferable developers are. But now I'm seeing them in Asmund Gold videos. Attention is the only thing that will make these people act correctly. I thought you were refunding and leaving. It's not that big a deal. It only takes a few minutes to create. If you can't take 120 se Yeah, appeal to triviality, homie. It's not that big a deal. It doesn't even take that long. Go voice your displeasure where it matters. Because what? It's not here. Community manager. Here, I guess you guys are talking about pretty hair ties and nail polish. Pretty funny how fast go tell someone who cares changes to I was completely unaware. One of the other ones said, Well, we always do the stay we get here and this going about how I expected. I'm actually happy for us to be able to take action against players, reports, and make the game safer across the board personally. Uh-huh. See how eager these people are to make dumbass comments when they're uninformed but just need to get their say out? Professional, right? You know, I'll start with the normie observation everyone makes. You really decided to go against a player base you taught to unite towards the completion of a shared objective? With respect. How much people wish to inject themselves in the games these days, boy oh boy, I bet they romance the idea of being able to condition an audience the way they think Helldivers 2 players have been conditioned. But allow me to clarify, gamers have long sought 
They've been looking, they've been waiting for a game that would establish the feeling of camaraderie and togetherness that, that would allow them to play together, kick ass with explosions and spectacle, a little splash of griefing with variables enough to keep us coming back for more, and that experience, for the most part, online, has vanished. The hyper-policed environments online have reached a point where typing anything can get you banned and laughing and dance emotes are literally too controversial, confrontational, or toxic for Fortnite. Sell one thing one day as a taunt and the next day you're getting a lecture and a patch about how some people are going to be toggling that off because it's really just not the vibe that we're trying to give the game. We don't want them to feel bad when you kill them and then you do a little dance and make a little love get down tonight a blood-soaked extermination experience barely exists with how many developers misunderstand and overcomplicate the assignment these days or with publishers like sony greed ends up being allowed to compromise the experience so it's impossible for people to enjoy you think diablo 4 is a bad game no it's everything around that shit game which is exactly what happened here with sony but PC players pushed back and won. PC players amidst straw man, uh, amidst gaslighting, the community highlights the absolutely unacceptable fraud, scam, swindle, hoodwink of a bait and switch that is what Sony was pitching to people as an expiration of a grace period. But the CEO clarified they knew for six months and didn't inform people. The irony is so easy to describe. Community managers run and hide at a time where managing the community is necessary. They're really earning their paychecks here. Super secure saboteur Sony wants people's PlayStation's account linked or else? Your playing privileges for what you paid for will be revoked? They don't care if making an account is possible in some places. <laughs> The grace period has expired. Enjoy being delisted. When it once again gets relisted, we should aspire to reverse our reviews and be better people than the Discord-dwelling goblins calling themselves moderators that are so triggered by people spreading information that they need to put people on a shit on a no-no list. You best not mention them. And you're challenging them as well. If any of you stand with this person, speak now so I may strike you down mm, Monday skin and this is a different entity from the community manager who made it clear that some people got under his skin and admitted that he had a bit of attitude with a few people but that they heroically jumped on a grenade they claimed in their apology <laughs> And then they run and hide because, you know, you're really getting your money's worth with the CEO does better communication than the community manager. Jesus Christ. The idea that these data harvesters that take advantage of laws in places that cannot afford not to sell the data of their users, treating them like test animals to inform their technology by watching their faces and the... I mean, you guys use TikTok, so what do you fucking care, right? Sony delisted. Valve could have hidden those reviews because they've done it before but this time they didn't based valve could have shut down sweet baby detected when all those journalists refused to report the truth but they didn't based today i saw a post on black panther have some people in the comments talking about you know how some of the people behind that have issues with people based on their skin color it was quickly deleted but it was still there based Nintendo pays to play online, Xbox pays to play online, PlayStation pays to pay online. The PC players observe no such extra fee for online play, which is why with Sony, no quarter was given. Usually silent wizards like me are aware just how slippery the slope is, but it was overwhelming watching some of these beasts rise to congratulate and thank Sony for personally inviting us to sail the high seas. Backlash, feedback, pressure got this squeaky wheel the grease. Recognition and a spotlight for these up their ass community managers who can be bothered to do just about any and everything but their job 
make sure they keep that respect inside their mouth when they're dealing with you. They hide in their discords. Remind them they're forced to stay there. <laughs> and at the end of the day, the big takeaway that we're going to have for this is that the CEO is better at handling any and everyone than the community managers were. Multiple. What are you paying these clowns for? To the beta testers, patrons, sponsors, thank you for being you. Like, subscribe if you haven't finally. Comment below, tell me what you're looking for, and thank you personally for not being so far up your ass that you're considering putting fumes as your preferred pronouns.